pretty much everything has been explained properly by our SGM sir and also a very good uh, comprehensive uh, explanation has been given by uh, SP sir. So I just want to share my personal experience uh, so when I, uh, during my interview. So when I first entered, there were around, uh, if I recall properly, I think he also a test, there were around 12 people. So they were on all uh, secretaries, IAs also, and uh, state civil service secretaries also. Uh, you should not be intimidated when you enter. You should be calm and composed and then, uh, you know, take a moment, like Sir said. Take a moment and then, uh, you know, don't be in a rush to answer. Don't be in a rush to enter. First, they'll just ask you your general, uh, your uh, background, your introduction. Uh, that um, don't say like uh, I'm from this place and you have to articulate the expressions and that is what they are uh, they want to know they don't want to test your knowledge which which has already been uh, uh, repeated by sir and uh, they don't want to test your knowledge they just want to test your core competencies like uh, leadership your uh, uh, integrity like your uh, uh, problem solving skills and that is what they want to see. So, uh, I just I was just trying to remember the questions that were asked to me. So there were like few questions like uh, say I was already working. So they, they asked me why do you want to leave your uh, work and then uh, join civil service? How will you contribute more? So that is one question which they will definitely ask if you're already working in a government job. So you'll have to prepare for that. I cannot give you a textbook answer because uh, it, it varies, no? it is very subjective. So you have to prepare for that question asked. And uh, the second question was, what makes you a very good fit for this position? They, they will definitely ask this. Probable questions. They will not ask everyone the uh, maximum legislators. And uh, the another thing they will ask you is behavioral questions like uh, suppose they will uh, situation this uh, they will ask Malachi uh, they asked me a central scheme engineering how will you propagate or disseminate engineering scheme on it like sorry I will explain by some answer so that is that again you will have to prepare like not, not only engineering it could be PAY or it could be any like AMA scheme money you as a bureaucrat tomorrow or you as a PDO will have to go to the field and then you know you'll have to interact with with uh, the locals and with the villagers. So how will you uh, propagate, how will you make them aware of it? See? They might ask. And another thing was your role as a bureaucrat. So what are the main functions of bureaucrat runners? You know, and they asked me like there was a landslide here. So which sir has already uh, repeated. I where you faced a challenge and how did you overcome it? So you such a such a such a hard question. Be a little type of just go like that straight forward with the same questions. And other the another thing is they'll ask you about your culture and religion. Yes, my just pure such a because they asked me about my culture and religion and then start they started asking me about sects of Buddhism. Buddhism in Tibet. It's a very long question because my interview almost lasted for about 25 minutes. So, you know, culture and religion and... What's it? Plus, a lot of people will ask you questions. Multiple people will ask you questions. Just to make you nervous. You should not be nervous. You should have questions. You should have answers. That is there. And uh, that we go, you will have to give an example where you have demonstrated uh, leadership skills. Yeah. Leadership skills. And uh, yes, uh, you have to communicate because this is again one problem. One major issue that I have also this thing noticed is people here, out here say, I mean, if you don't communicate properly, you don't articulate properly. Really. But that is very important. And, uh, Well, last but not the least, again, I, I am repeating for the sake of <laughs> repetition. Don't lie and don't be honest. Don't make them feel like, uh, like you're wasting their time. So you have to be very honest. 
and the, like like Sivari explained, even if you don't know also like give them a you know make them feel like you are very eager to learn. This is the hard guy. These are my personal experience and uh, uh, mock interview ma again uh, if I remember any other questions uh, we will uh, discuss. Thank you.